guys, I made a terrible mistake. Okay, I, I've done something so horrible, so unconscionable that I can barely bring myself to speak about it. But, I must. At least for the sake of the channel, anyway. So, last week, in my review for Glass, I spoke about how great the music was. And I still stand by that statement, I think that it was probably one of the best parts about the film. But, in my review, I cited James Newton Howard as the composer. And it wasn't long before people started commenting that I was wrong, you know, getting at me in my mentions, calling me stupid in the comments section. And at first, I was actually kind of taken aback a bit because, well, I thought I was correct. I mean, in my initial research for the film, I thought that I had seen James Newton Howard credited as the composer for it. But it turns out I was mixing him up with someone else entirely. In fact, I think I was mixing up some of his work. While he didn't compose the music for this Shyamalan film, he did compose it for Unbreakable, and I kind of think that's where the mix-up happened. Um, but I did want to give credit where credit is due. Um, the person who actually did compose the music, and I still stand by what I said, I think the music is a great part of the movie, uh, their name is West Dylan Thordson, and to them I also wanted to apologize. I mean, I doubt that they're going to see this, but on the off chance that they do, I'm sorry. And uh, I also wanted to apologize to you guys. I mean, I know it's not the biggest deal in the world that I made that mistake, but it is to me. Um, you see, I think it's important to get things right, um, and I think it's also very important to be accountable when you don't. And that's kind of what this is for me. I'm just trying to be accountable, so I'm sorry. And I do uh, promise that in the future I will be very careful and a little bit more thorough in my research to make sure mistakes like this don't happen again. But anyway, guys, now that that's over and done with, I'm Dempsey Pollard, and this week I'm reviewing... The Kid That Would Be King was written and directed by Joe Cornish, who also previously wrote and directed the film Attack the Block. Now, if you haven't heard of it, I highly recommend it. Not only is it a fantastic film, but it also introduced the world to a little-known actor by the name of John Boyega. Yeah. This film is a more modern take on the story of King Arthur, and it actually revolves around a young boy who's a descendant of his. Now, after he finds the legendary sword Excalibur, he has to assemble his own team of knights to help him fight against these demons who threaten to take over the whole world. And I honestly found this film to be a lot of fun. It's very lighthearted, and with a cast primarily led by a bunch of young actors, I found it to be very reminiscent of films such as The Goonies and The Sandlot. The star of this film, Louis Ashbourne Circus, who, I mean, if you haven't picked up already, is Andy Serkis's son, does a fantastic job in this movie um, as Alex. Uh, he does some really interesting things with his character, and he just has such a great emotional depth to him that I, I really did like. Um, and uh, I guess it's plain to see that the acting chops obviously run in the family. Now, another highlight for me in this film was the actor who played young Merlin. Uh, his name in real life is Angus Emery. And uh, just watching him, he was just so delightfully strange and um, very entertaining, honestly. Uh, definitely one of the best parts of this movie. Joe Cornish's direction in this film is also very good. From the opening animated sequence to the various action sequences, I think he proves that he's one of Hollywood's biggest underdogs and probably the most untapped talent out there. And while he does have an impressive body of screenplay work, I think it's about time he's been given that big Hollywood blockbuster to direct. Now, despite those positives, I still had a couple of issues with this film. Primarily the fact that it was really predictable. And, I mean, that shouldn't come as any shocker because, after all, this film is a kid's film and most kid's films are predictable. But, in this film, more so, I felt like I was really able to get a sense of what was going to happen. Um, except in the third act. I will say that. The third act was kind of unexpected because it really takes the film in a direction that I didn't think it should have gone. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's a fun direction and the, the film has a lot of fun going there. But I felt like it was too much of a stretch. Um, but I gotta give props to Joe Cornish because despite that, he still makes it work. Overall, though, I still think this film is pretty good. It's a little film with a big heart, and while it may not be for everybody, I still do think it's worth checking out. And for that, I'm going to give this film three and a half stars.
Nice. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, I would ask that you please subscribe. I post new videos weekly, and uh, yeah, I'm always working on new stuff too. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but if you happen to see this movie and you have any personal thoughts or opinions or even theories, I guess, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what any of you guys have to say, as well as uh, interact with you guys. I love to interact with you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, as I said before, I'm always working on new stuff, and if you want to follow me for any updates, feel free to follow me on any of my social media. I'll post the links in the description box below. I'll post the links to all that good stuff, like my Twitter, my Instagram. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thanks so much once again. It means the world to me that you take the time out of your day to view these videos. It really does. I love making them for you. And uh, in fact, I think I have another one that I'm working on. Uh, you should probably be on the lookout for it. It's either going to come out... Uh, let's just say over the next couple of days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, so I should probably get back to work on it. Uh, so until next time, I'm Dempsey Pilot. Take care.